Okay, here I am. I have a, uh, a folder here with one video file in it. The video file, if I play it out here, uh, is just a video file of me. Today I have a series of videos for introducing uh, basically this video. So let me clear that screen out. And what I want to do is take that audio and raise the pitch of it but leave it so it's still the same length so it matches up with the video. We're going to do all that from the command line and it's actually really simple just using FFmpeg, uh, basically stuff I've gone over in the past with FFmpeg, and a program called uh, Rubber Band, which should be in your repositories. It will probably not be installed by default, but just use apt-get, aptitude, software, uh, synaptic, whatever software manager you use. So first thing we need to do, we're going to separate the audio from the video and the video from the audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say FFmpeg dash I and then the uh, name of our input file. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say dash V codec copy. This will copy the video without any recompression so we don't lose any quality when it comes to video. Then I'm going to say dash AN for audio no, audio none, so no audio. Um, let me, oops, that's copy dash A N. And uh, what we're going to do after that is just give an output file. We'll just say one dot uh, MOV because the original file is an MOV file. So we'll hit enter. Shouldn't take very long because it's not recompressing the video, it's just basically making a copy of it. So if we use M player to play that video out now, one. MOV, you can see it's the same video, same quality, because there's no recompression, no loss of quality there, but uh, no audio. Hit Q to kill that. We'll clear that out. Now we want to create a copy of the audio. So we're going to use FFmpeg once again, dash I, and then the original video file, and then we'll just say uh, the output file is one.wave. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And it does it very quickly. We'll say M player one dot wave. Today I have a series of videos for you. Uh, that basically Q to kill that out. So we have, if we list this out, our original video file here, and then we have the original video without the audio, and the original audio without the video. Now we're going to use Rubber Band, which once again is in the repository, so you'll need to install it. Rubber Band. And uh, if we do dash P, that's for changing pitch. And uh, I'm going to move it up two octaves. Uh, so I'm just going to say 24 because there's 12 notes in an octave. Um, so dash P, 24. Obviously, the higher the number, the higher the pitch. And you can go negative numbers to make it lower pitch as well if you'd like. So uh, we're doing that. Then we need the audio file. So we're going to say uh, one dot wave is our original audio. And then we're going to say, 1a dot wave will be our adjusted audio. So we'll hit enter there. It does it pretty fast, but more of manipulation to the audio, the longer it will take. So if I made that 36 or 48, it would probably take um, twice as long to generate this new audio. Video, I think, is like about a minute, maybe a minute and a half long. So uh, just give it a little while. You see we're at 75% right now of processing it, 90%. Okay, and now if I use M player, I'll play out one dot one A dot wave. <laughs> I'm gonna hit Q to kill that. Um, actually, it looks like two octaves may have been too high. I could barely understand what I'm saying. So let's go back and change that to twelve. So we'll hit enter. Now note that rubber band, just like. Um, Oh, what was the other program that I was about to mention? Anyway, it, oh, like Image Magic is what I was going to say, does not prompt you if you're going to override an existing audio file. So we just override one A. So make sure that you're not putting an output to a file that you need. So we'll play one A wave again. So as you can tell, uh, my voice has been changed in pitch, but the length is the same. So now all we have to do is take our one MOV and our one A wave and put them back together. And FFmpeg lets us do that easily. We just say FFmpeg dash I for input. We'll say one MOV and then dash I one uh, A dot wave. And I'm going to once again say. Um, 
V codec. I'm going to say copy so we don't lose any video quality. The audio I'm not too concerned about, so I'm just going to let it do whatever it does by default for MOV, but that's up to you if you want to copy the audio or use some sort of compression. I'm not sure what MOVs use for their audio files by default, but I'm just going to let it do whatever the default is. And I'll say 100.mov. And shouldn't take very long because once again it's not going to recompress the video it's just basically taking the the video copying it and adding the audio to it and now if I am player I'll say full screen and I'll give it um, I'll say 100.mov and I'll hit enter and we will see that video I'll play just part of it but I'll put an annotation to the full video Okay, so I hope that you found that humorous. I hope you find this useful. Once again, you can raise the pitch, lower the pitch, and uh, do it all from command lines. So if you have a group of videos you want to do this to, you can write a script. If you're working on a machine that is kind of slow and you can't run a full editor, and maybe you want to do this to doing it from the command line, uh, FFmpeg is great for that. And the sort of band application is also great for manipulating audio. It does other things as well, which we will go over in this series. I thank you for watching. Uh, there should be an annotation somewhere if I haven't forgotten. That will lead you back to the playlist of all these videos on audio manipulation, mainly using uh, rubber band. Uh, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description, as well as notes to everything I typed out here. And I hope that you have a great day.